Hi, Tell Me Where To Go presents world's weirdest creatures in which you'll discover some of the oddest and most fascinating creatures in the world. You'll be amazed at some of the things you are going to learn. And don't forget that if you enjoy our videos, please like, comment and subscribe to our channel. There's plenty that we don't know about our oceans, seas and rivers. And scientists are always making exciting discoveries. Well, a few years ago, marine scientists discovered a fish that was definitely weird. And it's called the blobfish. In 2003, scientists aboard the research vessel RV Tangaroa were trawling on the Norfolk Ridge in the Pacific Ocean near New Zealand when they brought up a most unusual fish they called Mr Blobby. To be fair, it did really look like a strange blob. So the scientists called it a blobfish but gave it the scientific name Sacrilutes microporus, which means that it's the genus of the marine ray finned fishes such as flatheads and toad fishes. They don't sound very attractive at all, do they? In fact, the blobfish was named as the world's ugliest animal in 2013. Basically, it's a pale, pig, gelatinous blob with a droopy, downturned mouth and large, sagging nose. These blobfish actually live in very deep waters at between 1,000 metres and deeper, or between 2,000 to 4,000 feet. At these depths, the pressure is up to 120 times greater than at the surface. It's very dark and cold down there, so the blobfish did have to learn to adapt to such a harsh environment. Gosh, we'd all look like blobfish if we lived at those depths. They are actually quite dispersed and are known to live in the Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Oceans, particularly off the coasts of Australia and New Zealand. Despite these really bad conditions, blobfish have a lifespan of up to 130 years. They grow to a length of about 30 centimetres or 12 inches and can weigh up to 9 kilograms, which is 20 pounds. Their diet consists of sea urchins, shellfish, mollusks, crabs, lobsters, microscopic bacteria and sea pens. Sea pens are almost as interesting as blobfish as they are colonial corals, meaning they are comprised of a colony of several polyps and each individual polyp is specialised to perform a specific function. None of which is to avoid blobfish, apparently. The blobfish's name is really not quite fair. That's because when it was first pulled from the depths, it was released from the tremendous pressure so its body flattened out. I wish that my body would flatten out. In actual fact, the blobfish is a very different character when it's in its preferred environment. The flesh of the blobfish is sort of like a gelatinous mass that has a density less than that of water. This means that the blobfish can float above the sea floor. It hangs there with its mouth open to suck in any prey that floats or swims in the blobfish's direction. At deep sea, the blobfish actually looks like any normal bony fish as this pressured environment provides a gelatinous body mass with structural shape. It does have bones, but they are very fine and soft. That allows the fish to survive the massive pressure at those extreme depths without expending too much energy. Not a bad life, just floating around waiting for food to come to you? Unlike most fish, deep sea fish do not have air-filled cavities, which act as buoyancy and help with movement. Otherwise, they would collapse under sheer pressure at the depths in which they live. Blobfish rely on their jelly-like flesh to provide the required support instead. They don't actively hunt due to their lack of muscles. Yeah, yeah, that's excuse that I use too. 
Blobfish have rarely been observed in the wild, but we do know they're most common around Australia and New Zealand. Mr Blobby is now kept in an alcohol solution at the Australian Museum in Sydney. Whoa, that's the life for me! Now that we know more about blobfish, and particularly know that in its own environment, the blobfish is just a regular guy, we should change his name from Mr Blobby. Yes, this is the real Mr Blobby. He makes the blobfish look very handsome indeed. Nature is absolutely amazing. The life of the blobfish may be tough, but you have to admire them for being able to live and thrive in one of the Earth's most inhospitable environments. Hats off to the blobfish, who truly is one of the world's weirdest creatures. I trust that you enjoyed this edition of World's Weirdest Creatures. There's some fascinating stuff out there. Now, we like variety on Tell Me Where to Go, so we have lots of travel videos, music videos, and other stuff that will both educate and entertain. And don't forget that if you like our channel, please comment, like our videos, and subscribe to our channel. I'm Steve Collins, and I just love telling you where to go.